Alright guys, so I figured that it's going to be about a foot, and this is using the uh, uh, smaller size bags, uh, sealer bags. So you have the, and I don't remember the sizes, but uh, uh, you have the larger size here, and then you have the smaller size. So I'm going to go with the smaller size and see if that works, and if that works then that's great. So what I've did is I've cut off about a foot, 12 inches of sealer bag. And I'm going to go ahead and seal one end of this guy. Okay, I am using the Food Saver Food Sealer. Got this from Fry's, so it works very well. It also has the accessory port to uh, vacuum seal the air out of um, jars that you're protecting in here. So I'm just going to put this in here. We're going to seal the bottom this guy. I'm going to come here and press seal. And then see the red light there basically is an <clears throat> indicator that it is sealing. So now we're going to open this guy up and as you can see the bottom is completely sealed. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and start packing this stuff in here. Okay, so uh, right off the bat, uh, first thing I want to get in there is the bacon. So uh, the bacon, as you can see, is in a Ziploc bag and it's sealed and it should be fine till April. Like I said, it won't make it till April. <laughs> so I'm going to put this guy in here like so. And then the next thing I'm going to put in is my yellow tuna. That in right beside it there. Okay. And <clears throat> then I guess the next we'll put in the spam here. That'll, uh, that'll fit in the bottom there. And then we'll put our crackers in beside that. Yeah, maybe on top of that. Uh, let's put it inside. That's probably a better idea. And then we'll take our dessert. And I'm going to put my dessert in between my uh, can and my, uh, between my spam and my crackers so to kind of prevent the crush effect. Of course, they still may get crushed. And then we'll just shove the three uh, little... Um, drink pouches in. And now what I'm going to do, ooh, and what has happened here <laughs> is that the bacon is actually a little longer. Ah, I see what's going on. Okay. Just kind of mesh it down a little bit. So we're going to take this and you're going to place it over the sealer like so. And uh, what I may have to do here is fold this bacon down just the end, just a little bit, just so that uh, I can get a good seal on this guy. And then we're going to close this guy down and bring you guys over here. So I'm going to come here and hit the uh, as you can see here, the seal button here. Excuse me, I'm hit the vacuum and seal, so it's going to take all the air out of it, and then it's going to seal it. Before it does that, I almost forgot to put in a very important tool. <laughs> almost forgot to put in a spoon and some napkins. So let's do that before we seal this guy up. So here's a spoon. So 
and slide the spoon in the side there. Slide the spoon in the side there. And I will take, uh, let's see, let's, let's do a napkin for each meal. So I'll take three napkins and I'll just do a little simple fold on these napkins. Probably another fold there. And then we'll just take these napkins and just kind of do us another fold. Just kind of sit them right there. So we got something to eat with, something to wipe our mouths with, food, drink. We should be good to go. So now what we'll do is we'll take this guy here and we will proceed to uh, seal this fella. Seal it up. Close this down. And set to operate. And bring y'all guys closer in so you can see the action here as it happens. Okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and proceed to uh, vacuum seal this guy. So now what it's doing, it's taking all the air out of it, so now it's going to go ahead and seal the bag. And when my little red light that you guys can see right there goes out, along with the green light, like it just did, then I can take it off. Releases the pressure. Open this guy. And now I have a fully ready to go uh, one day's worth of meal, MRE, for me to eat. All vacuum sealed. That is just too freaking cool. <laughs> Alright guys, so there it is. So I'm simply just going to do that to all of the rest of the meals there. And I'll get about five of those. And then once I get those together, I will show you those meals together. Alright guys, so there it is. We have uh, five days worth of meals ready to eat for my trip to uh... okay <laughs> guys I promise that'll stop when I get to okay <laughs> but um there it is guys so as you see here we have the uh, spam one here uh, it's got everything in it it's got the spoon the paper towel the bacon the um, uh, uh, tuna, dessert, the cracker, and the drinks. This one here is the salmon dinner here. This one here is our macaroni and cheese dinner with the corned beef breakfast. This is our um, chicken and rice dinner with uh, the salami breakfast there. This is the uh, pepperoni breakfast with the uh, this thing. <laughs> My mind, uh, summer sausage dinner. So that's it, guys. It's just going to be fun, and I'm going to take you guys along with me. So a lot of you are saying, oh my god, oh my god, that looks like an expensive MRE. Well, um, I could have gone a lot cheaper, guys. And a lot of these things in here are actually relatively cheap. Um, but you have to recognize that this trip that I'm making from um, Arizona to OK is a trip that I've made before. I've actually made twice. Once fly, once drive. And this second one driving is going to be the one where I stay. So I want to enjoy this. I love driving across the country. And... It's another outdoor adventure, man. So it's it's what your boy Camo does, just on a different level. So I appreciate you guys uh, coming along for this video. Hey, we will see you guys on the road. <laughs> All right, see y'all in a bit.
And uh, don't forget, guys, when you see me on the road, don't yell. Don't bail. It's just your boy. Okay. Camel me. <laughs> we'll see y'all in a bit, man. It's your boy.